What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again, and this time on this channel is going to be another short sneak peek at a video that was released by the official Metro the Game series of the Metro Exodus YouTube page. It was released today announcing one of the most unique, what is believed to be one of the rarest and most unique collector's editions to have ever been released. And in this case, it's been released by 4A Games, and they're releasing it, it is known as the Artium Edition, and only 10 copies were being made, only 10 are being made and they cannot be bought. These are editions that have to be one in some manner that by following all their pages and getting hints and probably just all around being a dedicated fan, can you win it? I doubt I will, but let's go ahead and get to the video and see what's just so special about this Artyom edition. Here we go. Okay, usual intro. Oh shit! It's the fucking author! Здравствуйте, товарищи. I'm Dmitry Glukovsky, the author of the original Metro novels. With the release of Metro Exodus just around the corner, I wanted to announce the Artem edition. A very limited edition package that cannot be purchased. Well, if they could be purchased, they would be worth, say, one million bullets. But I like to think of them as priceless. The Artyom edition is so limited that only 10 of you, the most dedicated Spartan Rangers, will be able to get this care package, the courtesy of myself and the team at 4A Games. Inside you will wow. find items that are essential to any Spartan survival in post-apocalyptic Russia. And rest assured, comrades, everything contained in this box has been handcrafted by skillful artisans and will not fail you in your time of need. I fucking so, love it. In order to survive the horrible radiation levels seen in Moscow and beyond, you'll need Artyom's iconic gas mask. <laughs> and what? its filters. What? Yeah. yeah it smells good. <laughs> and next yes. is this. The bullet lighter you've held so many times in your hands, but not in reality. <laughs> Hope you're watching, Bethesda. <laughs> you also need to know where you're going, right? So we got this for you. The map of your journey, wrapped in a beautifully worked leather to protect it from the blood of watchmen and other beasts. And if you're getting mercilessly torn apart by mutants or watchmen, virtually anything else in the world of Metro will have to identify you somehow. So please, wear these at all times. The Spartan dog tags. <laughs> wow, now, dude. Any true Spartan knows all too well that Artyom wears an item on his wrist. And the fans have been long asking when they were going to be able to see the real world version. Encapsulated in this nuclear proof steel tube is this the legendary Nixie watch. Are right you from the game. fucking serious? Fully functional. <laughs> and it's even showing time. Wow. I want one for myself, but I can have it. Bullshit. You can have what you want. <laughs> and of course, every one of you 10 lucky ones will get this certificate of authenticity, personally signed by me and the legendary prof, Andrew Prohar of 4A Games. Artyom Edition Kit is the ultimate dream of any Metro fan, but if you want to win one of your own, you gotta pay very, very close attention to all Metro communication channels of the coming weeks. До свидания и удачи. Wow. I can't help but be discouraged in a lot of ways. There you have it, guys. Metro Exodus, the Artyom Edition. Oh, man, there's so many things I could say about this, and I don't really know... I really don't know where to get started. So I'll start with this. Number one, I know that there is a one in a million chance that someone like me could win this. That's okay. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, but if I get it, I'm going to obsess over protecting it all and probably will never even get it out because of its value. Please. It looks like they've already found a way, absolutely, 
to make sure that only real fans are going to be getting this game. But I beg of you guys, if there's any way to make your grip tighter, you at 4A Games and Dmitry Klochowski, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong, make sure in some way or fashion, make it as hard as you can to make sure that the wrong people don't get their hands on these collector's editions because too often, collector's editions of many games in the years that have gone by are sold by people online for a higher profit, completely throwing away the actual fandom. And then people that can't afford that just don't buy them. There are those of us willing to shell over a few hundred dollars for a collector's edition. I got a good friend of mine named Lewis, who actually is like myself. If he can afford it, he will buy the collector's edition of almost any game he buys. Now, we pay a lot for our collector's editions. There are literally two right behind me. Actually, three, <laughs> if you count it. But that's not a bragworthy thing. It's the extra shit that comes with it. It's the stuff that comes with it that brings the world in the video games to life. And that's what we love so much about them. So I am begging you guys at 4A Games, I'm not going to win one of these. And that's okay. But I'm really hoping that these go towards the larger fans, more lore-based fans even. But just people that appreciate, even if they just really appreciate the games, who I know are going to cherish it and keep it on the shelf, keep it safe. Just make sure, do your damnedest, 4A Games. Those of you behind the teams and the social media pages behind Metro... Just, I don't want the wrong people to get their hands on this. So as much as I myself would love to have one, I'm ordering a Spartan, a Spartan edition to, in my own way, support the developer. If I was to get one of these, oh, I would be ecstatic. But I, to those of you that do win this, I hope you're real fans of the Metro series. I hope that when you look at this watch, you get chills running down your spine. That you feel just in awe of the fact that it's literally mimicking a piece of the game and bringing it to real life. These are made by artists. To those of you that cherish fighting the dark with the light from Artyom's bullet lighter, this is going to be a fantastic piece to have. To those of you that really like aged-looking maps and they're going to love this geographical masterpiece that is leather-bound to protect you from, as he said, the blood of Watchmen and other things that you might kill in your travels. To those of you that would appreciate this collector's edition and would appreciate something signed by the most, oh, just the incredible author, Dimitri himself, and Prof from Vora Games, to a, I just hope that it only goes to those that really appreciate it. I'll be paying as much a close attention as I can to this series, but as much as I work and as little as I am able to pay attention to the Twitter pages and all the pages thereafter. I'm not always on my phone. I'm, I'll try, but I'm probably not going to win one of these. I'm going to try, but I really hope it goes to those of you out there that are real fans. Maybe those of you out there that don't always have the money to buy the original collector's editions. I hope it goes to you, those of you out there that are going to try. So keep your eyes peeled. So to those of you following me, those few of you, those few Spartans, and to my fans in Russia, the handful that I have now, keep your eyes peeled. Keep the fake fans away from this series. It needs to go to those of you that really appreciate the books and the games, or one or the other, or both. Make sure this series goes to those who deserve it, because let's recap for just a second here. We'll make it quick. And we'll turn the volume down. Despite Dmitry Hlohovsky's Wonderful narration. I mean, look at this ammo crate. It looks phenomenal. Like, everything about it. Let me turn the screen on. That might help. So, like, look at this ammo crate. Everything about it looks phenomenal. We'll scroll through. That right there. That is amazing. I'd just be taking my fucking thumbnails in that for Exodus. Which, this collector's edition probably won't come till after, but who knows. I don't know... I think the thing that, that breaks my heart the most is that I know that I probably don't stand a chance to get one of these collector's editions. Would I pay for it? Yeah, but it's not like that. It's meant for people that are very dedicated. Very dedicated. So, in all honesty, I'll be paying as much attention to the Metro pages as I can. But, you know, I just hope it goes to those of you that are real fans. Moving on, you of course have... The bullet lighter you fought. The bullet lighter. That's just that's the signature as it gets. So many times in your hands, but not in I love it. Look at that. That that's not a knockoff. That looks so good. It's it's narrow like an actual bullet. It just got like a little contraption wrapped around it to make the switch. Oh yeah. This is this is a legit piece of 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 
of swag for the game. It's, it's amazing. I cannot imagine having that next to me. I would use that. You know, I don't smoke. <laughs> I used to. I don't smoke anymore. But if I did, that's what I'd be using. Hate to say that. But um, just to have that, just to illuminate things, just to have a bullet lighter that you know there's only 10 made of, the feeling would be amazing. And this right here I'm really excited about. And a beautifully worked leather to protect it, not a base. Look at that. That's amazing. It's aged looking, I think, on purpose, of course, and they attached it to it. And if you're getting mercilessly torn apart by mutants or watchmen, virtually anything else in the world of Metro will have to identify you sometimes. Then the Spartan dog tag, I mean, everything about this is amazing and it, it it's made with real materials to look good supposedly and if it does then some other developers such as bethesda i'm not trying to diss you guys but when you when you show pictures and or videos of a collector's edition you need to give what was in the picture don't say we don't have the money don't do that don't ever 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 do that because the people that are paying the extra money you want to keep them on your side because those heavy hitters are really what give you the oomph to recover just in case things go bad or the extra oomph to reward those that work with you. I don't know how that works exactly, but I'm sure that you don't want to piss off the people giving you the most money. The real world version. <laughs> the legendary God. Right from the oh my God, I want it so bad! Like, I want these things so bad. But despite my evil possessive nature that comes with the fact that I do want these trinkets that go with the Metro universe. And I really want this. Oh, man. I just want to sit here and read it all. I'm going to have to because I'm probably not going to get it. Oh, guys. That's it. I wanted to make this a short one just to kind of talk to you all. Metro Exodus RTM Edition. Pay attention to those of you that are real fans and that maybe you work nights instead of days because that's when most of this shit gets posted from other sides of the world as it were on social media. Please, those of you that are true Metro fans, pay attention. Find a way to win this and keep it out of the hands from the fuckers that are going to try and sell it on eBay for $1,000 a piece. Don't let the assholes get their hands on this stuff. Find it, get it, keep it, and cherish it like the team at 4A Games and the author, Dmitry Klochowski, would want you to. I am Euclid, and I'll see all of you stalkers in the next video. Feel so wild, your wife's inside.